Okay, we're working with masks here, and in lesson two, we've shown you a couple of different ways of using masks in order to fix this particular image where the model was standing too close to a red pickup truck. Let's show you a third way now that you can create a rather complex mask. So here in Photoshop, I'm going to go into the Select menu and choose Color Range. Now typically, when it's uh, in its normal mode, you, you can sample colors by clicking out here. But you also have the ability in this dialog to select a color range. And since red is our problem in this image, I'm going to select the reds. You can see what's selected here in the in the dialog box, but you can also come down to the selection preview and actually see it on the image itself uh, in a in a lot of different ways in quick mask mode and 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 so forth. So um, let's select the reds. Now, when you do so, you'll get the marching ants anywhere the reds are more than 50 percent uh, but also uh, anywhere the reds are less than 50 percent is also selected although you won't have marching ants going around those and so with this selection made we can choose an adjustment layer i think i'll choose a curves adjustment layer on this one and since red is our problem if we go into the reds we can grab my favorite tool right here and when you click on a point you'll notice that it set a point right here in your curves dialog box by the way if you ever want to get rid of a point all you have to do is just drag it clear off the graph and it's gone so once you click that sets a point as you hover you can see where that point is going to end up. I'm going to grab it right there, right in the middle of the red curve. And then I can either drag up and down in the image. Let's do it that way because that's the easiest way. So I'll grab my point and drag down. That's going to get rid of those reds. And again, as we did before, let's come back into the RGB image and brighten her face quite a bit. The advantage of this method is we didn't have to adjust anything out here. Um, however, we certainly can. We can hold our Option key down and click on the mask and see what has been affected there and if I want to bring back some of that background red I can just get black paint and pull in areas that I had missed. <laughs>